Welcome back to Educator.com's Application Essay Course. This lesson is about the prompt. Let's get started. All right, to begin with, we're going to look at the different kinds of prompts. Now, just in case you haven't heard the term prompt before, the prompt is the question that you're asked to answer when you make a personal statement or write an essay. So it's, it's basically, you know, they say, write an essay about blah, blah, blah. Well, the blah, blah, blah is the prompt. So there are five major kinds of prompts that you're going to want to be able to identify because there are simple ways to answer each kind. You know what kind it is, you know what kind of answer to give. So we have experience prompts, influence prompts, analysis prompts, explanation prompts, and what if prompts. We're going to look at each of those in detail with examples from real applications. Then we're going to look at what these prompts have in common. Okay, there's some basic commonalities, you're going to want to look at those. And then we're going to look at how to answer each kind of prompt. All right. We're going to begin with experience prompts. These prompts ask you to, de to describe an experience in your life. So, I've got a couple of examples here. Tell us about a situation where you have not been successful and what you have learned from the experience. That's from the College of William and Mary. Tell us about a conversation you've had that changed your perspective or was otherwise meaningful to you. That's from Stanford. And recall an occasion when you took a risk that you now know was the right thing to do. That's from the University of Pennsylvania, UPenn. So, those, these are all experience prompts. They all ask you to describe something that's happened to you or something that you've done. All right, then we have influence prompts. These are extremely common. There's one on almost every application I've seen. These prompts ask you to describe a person, a work of art, or an idea that has influenced you. So, we've got one that's uh, select a creative work, a novel, a film, a poem, a musical piece, a painting, or other work of art that has influenced the way you view the world and the way you view yourself. Discuss the work and its effect on you. That's from the University of Virginia and the College of William and Mary and NYU. Tells you how common that one is. All right, and this is the other really common form of influence prompt. Who is the secondary school teacher who has had the greatest positive impact on your development? Describe the ways in which this teacher has influenced you. Now, it isn't always a question about a teacher. Sometimes it's about, you know, the person who's had the greatest impact on your life. But both of these questions, whatever their style, are basically looking for what's influenced the way you see the world, the way you behave, the way you think. Identify the something or someone that has influenced you and explain that influence. All right, then we have analysis prompts. These prompts ask you to analyze a quote or a current event or some other concept that has been supplied to you. They give you something and say, what do you think? So, read Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from Birmingham Jail. Drawing upon personal experience, write a creative, reflective, or provocative essay. That's from the University of Notre Dame. Tell us what you think about a current scientific or social controversy. That's the College of William and Mary. Anatole France said, if 50 million people say a foolish thing, it is still a foolish thing. On what subject do you disagree with most people and why? That's from Northwestern. 